in the previous video, I mentioned which indicators you need to be, um, you know, using on your chart. And now I'll, I'll tell you how you implement those strat uh, the indicators and use this strategy. So what would we be using for perfect setup? Usually on a sell, we won't get a green indicator like we will here. We'll just get the market tops and bottoms and the RSI will be out. And that's how we know when to take the trade. So for instance, over here, the RSI is out, but there's no indicator. So we keep going. And then up here, we get an RSI is out. The tops and bottoms is red. So that means it needs to come down soon. As well as the VW one minute strategy, the indicator has set a, a sell signal, as you can see there. So we would enter it on this one here for a 10 minute expiry and it would have ended just there and that would have been our trade there. Another example for a buy, we would use the green um, finders here and they're really useful. They tell us where the bottom of the market is. That means it can't go any lower than what it is. So it needs to reverse. What we would do, we would line all these up. So, you know, we'd line the indicator's gone off. It's telling us to buy. The RSI is more or less out, as well as the market tops and bottoms is green, meaning it's so low it needs to come up green. It's a buy. And also you can see the market bottom finder is green. That's indicated there's going to be a big move up. It needs to be a buy. So what we do, is as soon as you see these line up, quickly place this for a 10-minute call. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would have been your 10 minute trade. So we carry on going. And then we see the RSI is out, but the momentum is amber. It's not really red. What we're looking for is a red and a green. Again, it's out. And then there's no amber. There's just amber. We go along. Then it's red. RSI is just touching a line. I'll take a trade if it was there. And what I'll do, it's all lining up. So there's a red momentum indicator here. The RSI is out. The arrow is telling us for a sell. So what we we'll do, as soon as we get the signal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, for a sell. And that would have been our trade there. Um, people ask me what the best, um, you know, and there's a perfect example right here again, except this is amber, but you can see how it works. So if there's been a false signal there. You don't take it because it's not out. That one's just come out. So you take this one, would have won, but it's amber. So I wouldn't have taken that. I would have waited for a really strong signal. Um, but people often ask me, what's the best currency? I say gold. Oh. So I say gold's the best currency. I find it really uh, useful when I'm trading. So for instance, now I'd place a small 10 minute buy. As you can see, my sell, my two sells are coming in. Um, I doubt I'll be able to place a buy because I've got too much money on. Oh no, so it's going to let me. Um, so we're just going to wait this out, see how it goes. But I expect this. As it, the RSI is out, the market bottom's telling us it's at the lowest point. The green momentum's green at the bottom. I'd expect this to be going up, say, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Say around here, we'll just say it's going to go up there. We're going to wait it out, see how it performs. We're just looking at the chart, see what's happening. And we'll see what happens from here. But I'll expect it to start going up. As you can see, we've got a reversal on the pin. So that means it's going to start going up. Let's just check the chart, see how we're doing. Also, oil. So if you're trading oil on the market, if you're looking for it on trading view, it's going to be a bit confusing. You'll type oil and you won't be able to see oil. It just comes up like that. What you should be looking for is US oil. And then that will give you the oil that everyone would be trading. For instance, now, if this was red and the RSI came out, I would have put selling here. 
and you can see it's got some nice waves. We've got one there, one there, one there. We've taken that one coming down. Well, we'll see how our gold's performing. It's dropping down at the moment. And I'll take, as you can see, a perfect entry. I'll take another buy on the gold. I'll quickly take one now. I'm going to take one more because I'm quite sure this is going to come up. So we're just going to see how this plays out. Sorry, I just didn't realise how much... Um, I'm never too sure how much of a margin I get on this. There we go. Right, so that one's just come in. We've had a huge bar there. Nice reversal. That was good timing on my behalf. So now they're all in. Just waiting for these to come. Great. So what we want to do, we want to wait for this to play out. That was a perfect entry. The RSI was out. The green bar's gone off. The low momentum's off. We had three indicators telling us to buy. The gold's still going up, which is amazing. These are all in. So that's one, two, three, four, five five six trades this one's way in the money so we're just going to play it out and wait for that even if it comes all the way up here you still would have won this is an hour trade so we've got about about 24 minutes left on this one let's see how this goes um, but yeah usually commodities are really stable when you trade them so for instance, gold, oil, silver, and silver often mimics gold when it when you're trading it. So if we go to gold, um, and you'll see, there you go. So there's been a sharp buy on silver as well. Okay, so as you can see, silver is really nice and stable. Um, for instance, we'll find an example where it's come out and it's all lined up. Uh, there's no indicator there, so we'll leave that one. Here, we've had an indicator, but there's no uh, momentum. Here, perfect example. Out the RSI, green, green, and the arrow. It's told us to buy. We've bought it. So it's essentially catching the top and the bottom. This one is so far out the RSI, I would have taken the trade anyway. Um, purely for the fact that it's got a reverse soon. Another example there, just out the RSI, green, green, you know, green, green, so many opportunities here. So commodities are really stable in the sense that um, if you want to take a trade, unlike currencies where people place huge orders and completely mess up the market, like say for instance, Euro USD, at the moment due to Brexit, it's all going to be on... Um, fundamental analysis so it's uh people are going to be um listening to news so they're not going to be using you know tools or anything that anything like that they're just going to be trading straight off of the news they're going to be having the the news on and listening to what's happening in the market and that's how they're predicting these trades like this some people are using patterns um and, and, but most of the trading will be done fundamentally which is just trading off the news so these won't really work um that well until everything starts to level back out um, but as you can see gave you a perfect example of the type of trades we want to be looking at to take I'm going to wait these out to show you the results I'm going to fast forward this just a tiny bit um, and I'll get back to you once it's finished so the trades every single trade I took did win using this strategy it's a really simple, really quick, really easy strategy to understand. Anyone can use it. Um, as I mentioned, every trade did win. I just fast-forwarded this clip because I didn't want you guys waiting. Um, it just takes advantage of big swings in the market. Every now and then, you may have to wait for a trade, but it is worth it with its consistency and its winning rate. And as you can see, those are my winning trades uh, coming in. Thanks very much.